perimeter of a rectangle. Let's take an example. You might have a rectangle that has a width of 3 centimetres and a length of 4 centimetres. You'd be interested in the distance around the edge of the shape. So if this was a plan of a field and you were building a fence around the edge, that's the length of fencing you'd need to complete the job in hand. You've got four sides on a rectangle. You know that two sides here and here are of equal length, and also two sides here and here are of equal length. Because you've got a measurement for this side, you can say confidently that the opposite side is also the same length, in this case three centimetres. Again, you've got one measurement of four centimetres here, the opposite side is also four centimetres. Once you've established that, it's a simple case of adding up all the sides. You can collect up your terms if it makes it easier. You've got four centimetres plus four centimetres plus three centimetres plus three centimetres. You can see that the four and the four make eight, the three and the three make six, totaling 14 centimetres.